Minister Bielovar, President Kolinda grabar Kitarvic has temporarily moved her office to Koprivnica, the capital of Koprivnica, Križevci County. Over the next three days, she will meet with county, city and municipal leaders, as well as members of parliament from the county. She will also visit leading businesses in the area. In Parliament, MPs are discussing a government proposal for amendments to the law on the minimum wage, which will be raised by 5% as of January 1st. This is a raise of 17.5 euro per month and will raise the minimum wage to 43% of the average salary. The amendments also foresee overtime work and work on Sundays and holidays, paid as separate remuneration. Former Interior Minister and Most MP Vlaho Orepic has decided to exit the Most bench in Parliament, saying that he is unhappy with Most's work, as it insists on waging politics of conflict, which are not helping resolve the country's problems. Most leader Boja Petrov said he was unable to understand Orepic's motives. The EU's chief negotiator for Brexit, Michel Barnier, has announced that it will not be possible to agree on a draft withdrawal treaty as well as a full trade deal by the UK's formal exit date of March 29, 2019. Even if the European Council does recognize sufficient progress on Friday, we will have a final agreement only if the political commitments taken by Theresa May the name of the British government last Friday are respected and we will be vigilant. We will not accept any backtracking from the UK on commitments in the joint report. All our points of agreement are now closed. Two years after the adoption of the Paris Climate Accord, world leaders have once again gathered in Paris for the One Planet Climate Summit. The focus is on financing the so-called fight against climate change. U.S. President Donald Trump's decision to withdraw from the Paris Accord drew some harsh criticism. Our president in the United States has made a decision that is not based to move out of Paris. It is not based on fact. It is not based on science. It is not based on any knowledge or legacy of facts. It is not based on common sense. For his part, Croatian Prime Minister Andrei Plenković said that Croatia was active on all fronts in the fight against climate change and any other threats to the planet. It appears as though the 60-odd members of the Don't Give Up Cetina civil initiative who oppose the construction of the Perucha thermoelectric power plant on the Perucha Lake have achieved their goal. Yesterday, the commission charged with evaluating the construction plans deemed them environmentally unacceptable. Turning to sports, in football, the incumbent Davor Šuker will run unopposed in the December 22nd vote for president of the Croatian Football Federation. Challenger Dario Šimić was unable to gather the support of nine county branches of the federation, the minimum required to run in the election. Turning to handball in the regional Seha League, Nexa from Nashica lost to Vojvodina 29-28 in Novi Sad last night. Nexa and Vojvodina are 9th and 10th in the 10-team league. Meanwhile, in regional Ebel Hockey League action, Zagreb's Medvešćak lost to Hungarian side Fehervar 3-2 in overtime last night. The Bears are currently 7th in the 12-team league. They play Austrian side Linz next on Friday. And now the forecast for the remainder of the day. Moderate to heavy cloud cover with intermittent rain, especially on the coast and in the east of the country. Mountainous regions will see sleet and snow. Precipitation will end overnight into Thursday. There will be a moderate northeasterly on the northern Adriatic, turning to a northwesterly and southwesterly in the evening. Southeasterly and southwesterly winds in Dalmatia will turn to a northwesterly. Highs will be between 1 to 5 degrees Celsius inland, 8 to 15 on the coast. The three-day forecast for the interior calls for intermittent rain, especially in mountainous regions. Friday will also see rain with heavy downpours in some places. A moderate to strong southwesterly will bring noticeably warmer weather. Saturday will see partly sunny skies and colder temperatures. The coast will see variable weather with intermittent rain. Heavy rains on Friday will be accompanied by strong to gale-forced southeasterly winds and warmer temperatures. Winds and rain will die down on Saturday.